let me give you an example. Think about what's the effect of my neighbor having a faster car on my demand to have a faster car, right? Let, let's, let's, let's say you thought about that. It is my utility depends on my car speed and my neighbor's speed. Okay. Think about that world. Now, people often have these kind of rat race kind of models where they think about people care about not just what their car is, but how fast their neighbor's car is, right? And the usual story is what? What do you infer from the fact that there's a, an effect of my neighbor's? Let's assume we see when my neighbor gets a faster car, I want a faster car, right? Let's assume that's what I see. Does that mean my neighbor has a negative externality on me? Because he makes me go spend more on a car when he has a faster car? Can you infer it's a negative externality? No, there's nothing about that observation. There's nothing about the observation that says, I want a faster car than when he has a faster car that tells me there's a negative externality. It just says my willingness to pay for a faster car goes up when, his, when he has a faster car, right? It's about changes in my willingness to pay with respect to his consumption, right? You, you cannot infer that it's a negative externality from the fact that him having a faster car makes me want to have a faster car, right? That just, it just means there, that there are compliments in consumption. That it doesn't tell me it's a negative externality. Yeah? Yeah, exactly. All right. How would, you t how would you address the other question, whether it's a negative externality or not? Well, ask people in a terrible <laughs> way. But let's say, do, do people like having friends with fast cars? They like to have friends with slow cars. They, they really do. People go out like looking for, God, I want to hang out with that guy. He's got a shitty car. That really <laughs> makes me feel good. I, I actually don't think that's how people behave. People like, yeah, man, that guy's got a Maserati, man. I want to know that guy. I want to hang out with him, you know? What? I, I don't think that's the behavior you see. I think, I think people don't grab it. You, they don't go around looking for, do people really go out and try to find, the, like, I want to live in this neighborhood with all these people who have nothing, because that's going to make me feel great. <laughs> I don't see people behaving that way. I see him going on TV and want to see homes that are rich and famous and all this crap, right? That's what sells. They don't say, they don't say here's the TV show that will show you how bad people live. And won't that make you feel fortunate? The, the most famous episode of that TV series is where there's a great man talking about Staten Island and Stone. Yeah, but okay. But is that really the dominant thing that happens on TV? That you see that there are people really are trying, constantly going out there to show them how much the common man is doing better than the other people, that I'm going to show you all these people who live worse than you. Which there's, that's not what we see. Yeah. Why do we need it to change? What do you mean by it changes, OK? What do you mean by it changes? What's the difference between saying my utility function varies with his speed and his speed enters my utility function? What is the difference between those two models? Is there any difference between those two models? Be saying, I got u of speed, and then I got this thing that shifts the utility function versus I got a utility function with two arguments. What's the difference between the two? I, I don't know if there is much of a difference, other than 
I, I like the one that has both arguments because I can talk about choices that you can't talk about with the other one. Like in the other one, how do you talk about my choice of whether to, if I could affect his speed, what would I want to choose? Well, I don't know. I think that people do have effects on what other people choose. They try to influence who, they're, who they deal with. They try to influence what other people choose. Yeah. Yeah, so people ought to go move to poor places where they can feel like king. And I just don't see that's the behavior that I see most people engaged in. Right? I mean, I don't, I see most people going the other way. They want to go hang out with all the, watch all the rich guys, and, you know, and vicariously consume through them. Those stores, those shows have gotten more popular. Yeah. How much are they willing to pay to do this? I mean, I think it's much better not to ask people, but to actually see what choices people make. Yeah, then I think, I mean, I, but I think what we really want to explain is the actual choices that we see people making. I guess that's the question I really go to. And I'm not saying it's irrational for people to prefer to live with people. With, I mean, that's perfectly consistent. I'm just saying you want to start asking the question. 